What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Lorenzi Park. Let's fish that. Ladies and gents, if I may interject, uh, between fishing and editing my videos, it's normally something like a week to two weeks before I actually upload a video. However, due to my schedule, I do have some older videos that I would like to share with you guys. So for instance, this specific video was actually filmed on this date. So let's get into it. All right, guys, uh, I have my little carp set up here in the water already. Uh, and the second thing I'm going to use is this little catfish rod of mine. Uh, we have a catfish hook on here. Let's try that again. We're trying to do the intro having a hit on my carp rod. So we have the carp rod in there already, uh, looking for some carp. Then we're going to use the second rod for catfish. Uh, we have a little catfish hook on here, a rounded catfish hook, about a foot of leader or line connected to a barrel swivel and a little barrel weight to get that out there. And we're going to bait it up with some earthworms or night crawlers for some catfish. Uh, they stocked catfish in here about a month ago, only a hundred, so hopefully there are still some left. All right, so this is Lorenzi Park. Uh, it is quite close to the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, we are, I think, something like 2.3 miles away from Fremont Street. Um, but this park is a bit controversial as some of the people have warned me that it is quite in a bad neighborhood. Um, being someone that's from South Africa, having visited Italy, going to Napoli, um, spending some time in India, uh, I don't think people quite have an idea what a bad neighborhood looks like if they call this a bad neighborhood. But I do understand we have some problems late at night in this park. Um, however, during the day, it seems to be fine. My little bobber just went down. Um, during the day, it seems to be fine. We have people walking around, people walking the dogs with their children. All right, where was I? People walking around, people are playing with their children. Um, we have people doing yoga, stuff like that. Um, but it is always good to be on the caution side, be aware of your surroundings. All right, so a few years back, this park was drained completely to get rid of all the invasive fish species that were in here. Um, after researching this lake to find out what fish are in here, uh, I had a few hits and miss on different websites. It seems like no one really knows what's in this lake. Um, there's a report saying that after it was refilled, they had a stock of largemouth bass they put in here alongside with some bluegill. Um, yet in the last four or five years there has not been a single bass caught from this lake that I can see. Um, there have been pictures of carp, that is why I'm using my carp rod. Um, although that is an invasive species and that would probably be one of the fish they would have tried to get rid of. But there are pictures of carp being caught here. Uh, obviously stuff like channel catfish and trout that get stocked every year and then some people have caught green sunfish and bluegill 
Um, we're not targeting them today specifically. We're trying for the channel catfish, but we'll see how the day goes. Been having a lot of small hits on this one. Until I get a good proper tug, bell ringing constantly, we'll just leave the bait soaking. Alright, so after the revamp of this lake, uh, it's also known as Twin Lakes, we have the lake on this side, and then there's a little spillway down there going through to the other lake on the other side, that's why it's also known as Twin Lakes. Uh, after they drained it and refilled it, uh, the city spent a lot of money on here adding extra boulders all along uh, making nice features and stuff also adding this which is a wheelchair accessible fishing spot uh, giving people with disabilities also a chance to come and fish here Alright guys, we have a small little fish, finally know what's down there, eating, pecking at the baits. And this happens to be very badly hooked, baby carp, so clearly there are carp in here. Nice little size carp, meaning that they are breeding and spawning. Let's get this guy back to the water. Alright guys, so these hooks that are for catfish, um, they are a bit big. We have a lot of small fish around here. I don't want to hurt the guys. So I'm going to swap to a smaller hook um, to try and see if we can catch some of these fish without hurting them or damaging them. Um, going to a smaller hook, if I have a catfish on there, it's going to be a bigger chance of losing the catfish. Um, but I'd rather take that chance of losing the catfish than hurting any of these small fish. Alright, so these small fish seem to be a lot more active than the bigger ones. Uh, so I'm switching to my light setup with a small little hook to see if we can see what fish we have down there nibbling. Alright guys, this guy is so small he didn't even move the bobber looks to be a small bluegill or green sunfish uh, with the blue on there I think it might actually be a bluegill let's get him back into the water and off he goes There we go guys, another little baby carp, loads of carp in here. 
All right, guys. Um, caught about 20 of these little five inch or six inch little carps. Uh, they keep nibbling off all the bait on the big rods. Um, don't think you're ever gonna get any big fish because the little ones are eating all the bait long before the big fish find it. Uh, for that reason, I think I'm gonna give today the rest. Uh, what do I think about Lorenzi Park? Well, all things considered, I believe this is actually a very good looking park, very nice. Uh, lots of people fishing, lots of people walking around. Haven't had any problems, any hassles with people begging, anything like that. Uh, I do believe it's a good place to bring your kids, especially this time of year, where you have all these little small fish. Quite easy to catch them, quite lots of fun catching these small fish for the little children. All right, that being said, not gonna catch any big fish today. I think I'm gonna pack up and head home. That's it for this video guys. If you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. If you found this video to be informative or entertaining, please give us a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any ideas or comments down below. Ask any questions down below in the comments as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.